Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of Teaching Tuesday. I want to talk about another aspect of how Batman can connect to Jesus and how you can see similarities there and maybe use Batman to explain a complex idea of Jesus. So uh, this one I want to talk about how Jesus when he came to earth was both 100% man and 100% God. Uh, now that's a little bit more than our minds can really handle. But ultimately, at the same time, Jesus had all the power and the abilities and everything that he had while uh, in heaven before he came down to earth and also was able to experience the things that um, we as people, uh, temptations, hurt, physical limitations, things like that. So it's, it's a kind of weird concept, but it's really important to understand that, uh, that Jesus was uh, God because the, uh, it really depends on his sacrifice that he made, that he was perfect, and only God is perfect. And so that is why he was the acceptable sacrifice for us, was that he was both, he was able to bleed, uh, which is a an important requirement for sacrifice. If you read the book of Hebrews, it explains that in there, and really uh, the Old Testament laws, but blood had to be spilled in order for sin to be removed. And so that's something that Jesus is able to do because he's human, and it's perfect because he's God. So that's kind of the, and I guess in a nutshell, why it's important to understand that Jesus is God and man at the same time. But again, that is a, a little bit more than our minds can handle. And I think a neat illustration, it's a little watered down, but a neat illustration is, is Batman. Uh, now, a lot of people will argue with me that Batman is not really a superhero because he has no superpowers. And I counter that with my own arguments, but ultimately, it's neat to understand that uh, Batman is man. He is just a man. Uh, he bleeds, he feels pain, he gets hungry, he does the same thing that uh, you and I experience as human beings, but he's also a superhero, and he's able to uh, surpass that limit of just being a mortal, and he kind of enters into this superhero realm and can do more than what just the average person can do. And so it's a neat way to look at, I think, both how Batman is man and superhero at the same time, and Jesus is both man and God at the same time. Um, just how one being can be two different entities at the same time. So hopefully I didn't confuse you anymore. Try to make it a short and sweet one today. Feel free to put in the comments down below if you have any questions or you want to further that discussion. I'd love to be a part of that with you. And thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.